Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based on Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how you can just simply use a couple of tools uh, within the Adobe Illustrator software to create really cool little icons like the one you see in front of you here. I just used a couple of tools to create this and uh, I want to show you the step by step process of how I did this illustration. Okay, so. First of all, what I'm going to do is use my rounded rectangle tool. And probably going to create a rectangle around that kind of size like so. I'm just going to borrow that color. So I'm going to press I for the eyedropper tool, click it, and let's go back to my selection tool. Wonderful. Now, what I want to do is try and make um, it wider on the top and bring the width in at the bottom there. So I'm gonna use my direct selection tool to do that. I'm gonna set those two anchor points there and I'm gonna press to the right twice and I'm gonna to go to the left twice like so as well. What I need to do is create the lid of our flower pot here. So yet again, I'm gonna use the rounded rectangle tool. Just gonna come through and create our lid like so and just select the both of them and get them aligned better. There, like so, and I'm going to borrow that color using that eye shortcut again. Okay, so and then I want to create this shadowing effect here. So I'm just going to simply use my pen tool and it comes to that point in there. One click there, one click there, and one click there just to finish off the shape. And yet again, let's to borrow that color. But you can see, guys, how it's coming along already. Now, what I want to do is let's try and create the arms and the legs. So I'm going to use my ellipse tool here. Like so. And I'm just going to swap the fill and the stroke around. And let's change the color of the stroke here to black. And let's increase the size. Okay, so using my direct selection tool, what I'm now going to do is select that anchor point there and delete it. And I'm going to select this anchor point there and delete that also as well. And there's my arm. But what I want to do is add a nice little sort of rounded end to this option here. So with it still selecting, we'll come to stroke and make my caps rounded. Now let's get to our selection tool. Let's move this across over here. Like so and I'm just going to use a shortcut option on Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate. Let's rotate this by pressing shift. Let me move that across a little bit more. So the book, the two of them, pressing shift and clicking on the one there to select. So if I, like, if I click that one there and press shift and click, these two are selected. And I'm going to right click, arrange, send that to the back. Okay. Move that in just a little bit more. Like so. Nice. Okay. So we've got our arms created now. Maybe put them in a little bit more in there, then like so. Okay. Now let's create the legs. So we are going to use um, the pen tool to do that. I'm just going to come through here. Press shift to keep it nice and straight in line. Like so. Wonderful. And yet again, I want to keep this catch rounded. So let's make sure that our corners are rounded as well there. And same again, I'm going to just duplicate this. Actually, what I'm going to do is select it, right click, transform, and I'm going to reflect it. Make sure it's a vertical reflection. I'm going to press copy and I can bring that over there. And then I have the other leg. Wonderful. Yet again, let's take these to the back, arrange, center back. Let's just group these up one sec here. I want to make sure that these are all aligned with the flower pot. There we are. Nice. Okay. So as you can see, my flower pot is coming to come into life. I just want to give it its uh, its face, so its eyes and its uh, smile. I'm just going to use an ellipse tool. Come through and create an ellipse there. Pressing Option and Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point, and keep it shift as well. Keep it nice and proportionate. I'm going to use the shortcut Option and Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate there around to that point there and also keeping that pressure shift down as well to keep it nice and straight in line then i'm going to come through with our ellipse tool here 
Let me crack my ellipse like so. I'm just going to press I again just to borrow this. And you can see it gives me the same width. And then I'm going to use a direct selection tool. That's our top anchor point in there. If we press backspace to remove. There is my smiley face. All key. So let's get that to a point like so. And we will now let's make sure that he's grouped up here. Come on, G. And then it's align these there like so. Wonderful. And now I have the face to my flower pot. Maybe made that a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. Maybe actually take this one down just a tad. Maybe a little bit more then. <clears throat> All right. So now we need to create our um, leaves here. So what I'm going to do is just come up here and I'm going to use my rectangle tool. I'm going to press shift to create a nice square. I'm just going to rotate this here like so and press shift as well to keep it nice and popping every 15 degrees. With my lasso tool, I'm going to set these two anchors here. Go back to my direct selection tool and just bring them in all the way to the other side. And you can see I've created my uh, leaf there. Now with that selected, I'm going to press I to pick up that color there. And there's the first original leaf. Now, what I would need to do is if I take the rotate tool, make sure that this is still selected here. If I take the rotate tool like so, I'm going to press come to the anchor point there because that's where I want to rotate um, this on. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is go option on a Mac or auto on Windows and click. Let's say we do 30. I'm going to press copy. Nice. I would like to have this on the other side as well. So I'm going to copy it, command C, and then paste it in front, command F, con uh, control C or control F on Windows. Come to my properties here, make sure my reference point is on the right hand side, and then just flip it. Like so. Let's make sure that we have these grouped up here. Come on, G. Let's get that aligned a little bit like so. Nice. And then what we're going to do with this one is take that back color there. And we're just going to send them to the back. So, yeah, again, select them, right click, arrange, send to back. Now, let's take this leaf again. And we're going to use our rotate tool. Yeah, again, come to this point, optional Mac or auto windows to click like so. But we're not going to do 30, we're going to do 45. And yet again, copy. Let's take up that color and same again. We're going to select this, copy it, Command C or Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac, and then paste in front, Command F or Control F. Keep your reference point on the right hand side there in your properties window. And just flip it like so. And let's group everything up here. Select everything. Keyboard shortcut to do that is Command G or Mac or Control G on Windows. And then, yeah, I thought that is going to be in front of the flower pot here. So we're just going to right click, arrange, send to back. Like so. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, us as tutors, please take, take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.